Where will you be at the rapture of the church? Hi everyone, this is Emily Wickham with Proclaiming Him to Women, and thank you for joining me for Truths from God's Word and Thoughts about Bible Prophecy. I believe the Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon in the rapture, and it is something we should be thinking about as God's people every single day. We obviously need to live this life that he gives us every moment that we have here. We need to live to the fullest for his glory, for his purposes, and yet always we need to be remembering and realizing that this present world is not everything there is. Now, perhaps you might notice I am recording from a different location today. And that is because I am at Ridgecrest Conference Center, and I have been here since this past Sunday for a writer's conference. And it's been a fabulous week. I want to thank you all for praying for me. And if there is any news to share with you in the realm of publishing, I will let you know. But I want to direct our attention to God's Word in 1 Corinthians 15. I'm going to read verses 51 through 53. And as I read these verses, keep in mind the question I asked at the beginning. Where will you be at the rapture? Listen to God's word. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. For this perishable must put on the imperishable, and this mortal must put on immortality. The reason that question came to mind about where will you be when the rapture happens is because at this location, I just walked up to the prayer chapel. And as I walked inside and just looked around the worship area, it's a place I've never been before. And I, I had the thought about how this space is somewhere God has used for people to come worship him, people from all walks of life, people from different locations. And it just struck me how God has his people everywhere, all over this world. And so many of us are looking for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ at the rapture. And so when we think about where will we be when the rapture happens, from these verses in 1 Corinthians, I think that it's safe to say it really is inconsequential. I think it's going to happen so quickly for those of us who know Christ as our Savior uh, that we're not, it, we're not even going to have time for that realization to register. Because what I just read here in God's Word tells us that it will be in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, just like that, we will be changed. And our mortal bodies are going to be changed into imperishable, immortal bodies. So I just want to encourage you today, keep looking up. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon at the rapture. And wherever you are, wherever I am, it's going to occur so quickly that just before we can even realize it, we're going to be changed into immortal bodies and we will see our Lord face to face, and we will be with him for all eternity. I hope that encourages you today with whatever is going on in your life. There are so many changes in the world, so many difficulties and hardships. There are also blessings and good things. And yet, when our Lord Jesus Christ takes us to be with him at the rapture, all of that will fade and we will be filled with awe and joy in his presence. So please keep looking up and know Jesus is coming soon, and let's be faithful to keep looking for him. Until next time, this is Emily Wickham, and I hope if you are not subscribed to my channel, you'll take a minute to do so. I thank you for spending this time with me in God's word, and I look forward to more times together with you, Lord willing.